Hi, George here. A new little feature that you might not think about, but actually has a big impact on how things look here inside of the new Photoshop Elements 2026 is up here under the window menu. And it's a contextual taskbar. And that's right down here. This will give you different options depending upon what you're doing. This one, we can do a select subject or remove background. Two standard things. These are both up here under the select menu. Subject and background right here just makes those selections. And remove background just takes that one step further and takes out the background. So it gives you a couple of options in here. The three dots down here, you can reset the bar position or you can pin a bar position if you want to have it always in the same place. Or you can grab this button over here and just kind of move it around where you like it. It's just a little help in here. Something else that has changed in here also that will be showing up here in the context menu. Let's just make a new layer here. Right click, duplicate layer, choose OK. And on this one, I'm going to resize this just like that. There we go. And we have some additional options down here. Now the cancel and done, this is going to be replacing the check mark and the X. They've had in Photoshop Elements for a long time. So it just replaces those two things. Plus we have additional options over here. Rotate left, rotate right, flip horizontal and flip vertical. Just a few more options there if you want to do that. You don't have to be seeing this bar down here if you don't want to. That's window and you can uncheck that. I'll choose done. And if it's unchecked, then it's not going to be showing all the time. Will only show when you do something. Just go here, I'll make a little rotation on that. So if you make a move or something, it pops up again. Choose done, it hides. That's what happens if you have it unchecked. If you have it checked, then it's always going to be visible in here no matter what you're doing. So you'll always have that as an option. So again, more of a visual change than anything else. I think it's very useful. I like having the additional tools over here. But these really aren't things that I tend to do that often. So the main thing to keep in mind is that the done and cancel is replacing the check mark and cancel button that used to be down here on the bottom right hand corner of your picture whenever you made any changes. So that's a pretty big visual difference here in Photoshop Elements 2026. Now for my channel, because most people are not going to be having this program, at least not for a couple of years anyway, they'll also be using the older versions. I'll continue using Elements 2025 you know, at least for about six months or a year so that I'll have the check marks. I'll still be using the check mark system. Since again, that's going to be matching most people who watch my channel. So just keep in mind, if you have 2026 and on my channel, I'm showing a check mark. In 2026, it's the same thing as clicking on the done. If I do the cancel button, same thing as clicking on the cancel right down there. So again, interesting little change here in how the user interface works. And I think it's a good change. But again, I'll be sticking with the old style until I have more users who are actually using the new version. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to lose this channel. I do new videos all the time. And I'll see you next time.